Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious and easy cabbage soup. The first thing I'm going to do is cut up my cabbage. And I'm just using half of a cabbage for this recipe. And what you're going to do is take the core out. You don't need that. As always, I'm going to have the exact measurements in the description box below for you. There's still some good pieces of cabbage left around the core, so I'm just cutting that off. If you've never had cabbage soup before, there are so many different variations out there, but this is my take on it. A lot of people eat this as a diet soup, but I don't eat it like that. I'm cutting it long way first and then I'm going to turn it and cut it again and I'm just cutting it to make 1 inch pieces. I have to be honest, when I first heard of cabbage soup, I thought, how can that be nice? I mean, you know, it doesn't sound good. But when you make it and try it, you'll be surprised at how flavorful it is. I'm going to put this in my measuring cup and measure it out just so you could have an idea of how much cabbage it is. And this measuring cup holds 4 cups but I'm pushing it down as you can see so I would say around 6 cups of cabbage. If you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. And be sure to click the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Okay, let's get cooking. So to my pot set over medium heat, I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of olive oil. To that, I'm adding half a cup of chopped onion. Two cloves of finely chopped garlic. One cup of chopped celery. And one cup of sliced carrots. And you just want to cut everything to bite-sized pieces. Stir this and let this cook for 5 minutes. After your 5 minutes is up, you're going to add your cabbage and give that a stir just to loosen up some of the cabbage. Next, I'm going to add one box or four cups of vegetable stock. If you don't have stock, you can use broth. Either one will work. Add three cups of water to that. One can of diced tomatoes. One teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. And one teaspoon dried basil. Give that a stir and then cover it and let it come to a boil. After it comes to a boil, you're going to lower it to medium heat 
and let it cook for 20 minutes. My hubby says he thinks this soup tastes like a really nice tomato soup. So if you like tomato soup, you're going to like this one. And we like to eat this with my artisan bread. Oh my goodness, this bread is the bomb. It's so good and it's a no need bread. And it's so easy to make. So I'm going to leave it linked below if you want to check that out. So this is what it looks like after 20 minutes. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful this is. I love the colors. I'm just tasting it to make sure everything is good and how I like it. I love this soup because it's so light and flavorful at the same time. If you want, you can add meat to it, that's up to you, but I like it this way. I like to eat it with some nice bread on the side, or just to have it as a side soup. But I know some people eat it as a diet soup, but for me, I don't eat it like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help out my channel. It helps to get my videos out there. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to do that. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.